What's up guys? Uh, welcome to a new video. Um, welcome to absolutely middle of nowhere. Um, today we are gonna be photographing this pretty little car here. I know it's out of focus, but you'll, you'll see photos, it's okay. Right, we're gonna be doing car photos, but we're gonna be doing them from another car that you see in ads on like magazines or stuff like that. So there's a few things that you wanna bear in mind when you're doing it. First of all, you're gonna be on road, uh, preferably find a road that nobody drives on. Uh, it's quiet and so you know you don't interfere with traffic you might end up driving on the wrong side of the road after all. Uh, the second thing is always wear your seat belts be really careful safety comes first obviously and then the third thing which is rather well, important aside from the first two things is use a camera strap or something because you really don't want to drop, drop your super expensive camera down on the road while doing 30, 40 miles an hour uh, on the road. So uh, that said, we do have a camera car, which I'll be in, and we do have a car to photograph in. Uh, we just need to find maybe a little bit quieter piece of road and uh, then we'll just get cracking. rolling. Ah, it's way too dark outside. There's maybe like one photo so far that I like. As you can clearly see, it's the next day and last night was really fun. Again, do bear in mind all the safety measures that I mentioned at the begin beginning of the video because this is not a sketchy thing to do. You really need to be um, you know, careful doing this and it's good to have multiple people working in the team. You've got like, everyone connected, like either having radios or on a group speakers or just use your phone because we used the Bluetooth car, uh, Bluetooth in both of the cars so we can communicate between the cars to know if there's any traffic coming or anything just to know what's happening and plan uh, what happens if there's a car coming and like so you don't get each other's way just like try and stay as safe as possible obviously as I said try and get preferably abandoned road that would be absolutely awesome I know it's not always possible but right so here we are in Lightroom um, I'm using, I was using this lens yesterday, which means we can drive really close to the car and it still looks quite far away because it's 15 mil. And yeah, it's manual focus, f2.8, and I was not nailing focus at all at the beginning. And you know, that it's dark and it's windy and it's cold and, and you know how it is, you've been outside shooting. And I mean, some of these would be pretty cool. Um, one of these would be cool if that would be in focus. I think one of like this one would be pretty cool if this would be in focus then we took another road there we kind of nailed focus somewhere around here I'm not entirely sure if I like this one if we bring out I don't like this one because the camera car was slowing down and you can see the brake lights here so yeah straight away a no-no so yeah same story here same story here and then we went out on our last run 
which I was like, okay, I need to nail something in the focus. So this is where I still missing focus, still missing focus. It's getting better. So I made this one in black and white. I think it's get a cool photo apart from the power lines in the background. It's not in focus. Yes, it is not in focus. Uh, it's rather grainy, 3200 uh, um, ISO. Used one fourth of a shutter to get like a nice blurry ground and a little bit of a background. Obviously this is not in focus as well. And then we turned towards the front where I was like, okay, I'll I'll just take my time. I know we need to be quick and careful. I just I took my time, zoomed in the screen, actually made sure it's in the focus. And this is where the magic happens. Bam, photos are suddenly in focus. Looks rather good for the lighting conditions. I do have a finished product, which I'm gonna show you different stages of the edit like these ones are quite nice quite nice but on the last one i like the framing the best so um we ended up taking this photo right here as the good one so this is the basic lightroom adjustments here i've done some brightnesses shadows i've changed the lights so it's too yellowish for me um removed some colors added some colors uh, played with saturation and hue as you can see change the oranges and, and and some of the blues and and yellows Just to just to make it much cleaner and nicer and we've done a lot of noise reduction because it was rather noisy because this is 5000 ISO right here. It got really dark caught us off guard So this is where we started. This is what I did in Lightroom and then I took it into the Photoshop thinking right so I'm gonna get rid of the power lines and that's pretty much the image so I was struggling with the power lines and I decided, wait, we could just change the whole background in the sky. So, so that's what I did. And this has a before and after, I believe. Well, this is straight out of Photoshop with the changed background. Uh, I can clearly see that temperatures are not matching. Like the bottom half of the image, including the car, is much colder than the sky. And I didn't really like it. I wanted a bit more blues in the sky as well. So I brought back some like blues and a bit like drama in the sky and I made the ground much, much warmer. Uh, if you want me to literally go from the original to the finished product, step by step, how I edit it, just let me know down in the comments below. But this is how we ended up uh, upon this image from. So we started off here and ended up here. So. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, we've changed the horizon and everything and the scenery, but that's that's what photo is about. You know, you go out, you shoot, you have some fun. Uh, and I want to say big thanks to all the guys which helped massively. It would not be possible. Obviously, I have a driver's license, but I can't drive and shoot at the same time. So I'm gonna pop up the guys on the screen of their Instagrams. Um, good job done yesterday. I'm really happy how this turned out. I know it's a lot of fake in this photo, but. There's a lot of real in this photo as well and, and the most important thing is that you have fun in the process, which I certainly did and I know the guys did as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check around for more of my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Shh.